I was on mute this whole time, so welcome everyone to Day of Daring Blitz. Ah. Uh, I'm getting over a sickness is what I was trying to say. So I was like coughing a bunch just right there. So I am uh, sorry for Let's get this show on the road. being slow on noticing that. But um, yeah, we're going to be doing a quick rating stream <laughs> tonight. <laughs> Yeah, so Chris was uh, getting ready to say something. You'll notice one of the stream updates that I've been working on is the chat, actually. So that's finally got chat working, pulling in chat to to the stream, which I think will make watching just that a little bit more fun. So always looking for ways to make watching streams fun. All right, they've got three guys over to the left. So far only two heavies to the right, but I'm going to go in the middle to quick to quickly take out those tanks since there's not a lot of pressure over here and the faster these two guys get taken out, the faster we win this game. Cuz now these guys are completely stuck. So those heavies did end up pushing onto one of our heavy other heavies that was over there, but I don't see the other TDs yet. Where's their second TD? I don't know. Okay, he's behind. So we're just going to have to be cautious about that. So let's just get into a little bit of cover. There's the JG. That was my bad that I missed that. Ouch. I'm not sure what happened to the rest of our team, actually. <coughs> this is not good. I'm gonna get taken up by the minnow. Oh, he stopped looking at me. Interesting. Why did our guys like split up at the end here? How did that bounce? I'm basically gone. Oh, I'm not gone. Nice. Well, now I'm gone. Um, yeah, our guys in the back unfortunately die really fast. And the, the rotation, I guess, from Clearing out the mediums was too slow. <coughs> don't really know. I, mean, I don't think we should have pushed all the way to the end of the rails. <coughs> there. But yeah, as you can see, I am uh, still coughing from, from not feeling good. Like I had a fever on Wednesday and Thursday last week, so that's why there's no usual Thursday stream. I mean, I still played a little bit of Blitz, but uh, yes. So somebody was sad <laughs> that we lost. The one two one B was sad. I have a. There was a question. What do you think about the price change in the game to recover tanks? So I saw that there was an announcement. I don't know if it's different than what was previously talked about. <coughs> how the prices were going to change. Um, I, like, if a tank costs real money, pay, like gold, or just you buy the tank outright, I think it's a little bit weird to even be able to sell the tank. That's my opinion. Like, if you buy a tank, you should just have have the tank. 
or if it's a tank that um, you got from a crate, but it's still a premium or collector tank, just not just block being able to sell the tank to 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 sell the tank. That's what I think. And yeah, they they did kind of fall apart when I crossed over on the last <coughs> in the last game there. Maybe I should not have done that. And Spartan also says, what's up? What's up? Hopefully I'm not spotted here. Okay, that's actually good. I'm gonna make them think they can just kind of mosey on over here. Kind of hoping, hoping they overextend a little bit. And then when they don't know that I'm coming, Pop over and hit them. Enemy is hit. Nice two shots into the deck of the 113. Now I can pull into cover here. And he doesn't have greatest gun depression, so I may be able to kind of pressure him over here. But there is a tank destroyer sitting above the what WZ and I don't really have any TDs that are poking the, the bush to cover me on the right side so I'm probably going to stay on the top of this hill in retrospect. Maybe I'll get a couple of shots into the XM. I love trading two shots for one. <coughs> Is the WZ going to commit to me? Uh, looks like he and the XM are going to do that, but he just got real punished for that. What? Really? That did not clear him? That's a real bummer. <laughs> Let's just load on an AP shell here. 300? Really? I could have loaded heat and done a higher roll than that. What's with that? Come on. So this is looking like quite the good win here just by looking at how our tanks are positioned. All right. Let's finally clear out this guy, all right? Wait, what? Never mind. How did I bounce the side of that tank? Did I hit the tracks with my heat shell? Whoops. <coughs> Object 777 is going to go quickly here. Okay, I was robbed there. Octopus will hopefully clear him out. Dude, shoot! Okay, never mind. We're gonna lose this. I got robbed on the Object 777 shot, and then the 215B couldn't pen him for like the, the entire rest of the game. Oh well. I thought that was going to be a win. I thought that was going to be a win. I sold a few premium tanks because I didn't do research on it first and they turned out to be trash. <laughs> I mean, I guess the the idea of selling them lets you get some of your money back. But if they let you sell it, I think they should still let you get it, get the tank back if you change your mind later. I mean, gold is being affected by inflation, so they... Even if you buy it back for the same price that you sold it for, I think that's fair because you <coughs> you get you have to spend the gold to get it back. But yeah, if I step down to get the the pra progetto, I don't think the progetto was over here. And hello to Bear Six. All 
All right, so, oh, we went up in points for that game. That's kind of nice. I have I don't think I've played this tank in ratings, the Object 268. I played a regular battle in this earlier, and it's hitting for 700 is pretty crazy. <laughs> How long am I going to stream tonight? Um, either for another 15 minutes or another 30 minutes is my guess. Max would be 45 minutes from now. I will look at that later. I was going to pull up the alpha on this tank. Come back, BC. Come back, come back, come back. Yes! Boom! <coughs> <coughs> Oof. We got all their tanks over here. Boom. I mean, this thing just hits so hard. It's crazy. All right, nobody is on the right side on our team except that tank. Most of our guys are headed more toward the left side. Let's see if I can hit this object 777. I missed that one, but that's not not the end of the world. Is that E3 re-aiming us? I can't see. The 58 was in the number 58 was in the way. And also this tank reverses so crazy fast. But we have <coughs> we have decent cover on the right side. Oh really? Only 18? Usually that rolls higher. I must have not hit the cupola there. Boom, 677. This thing just is massive. All right, seeing if we can hit this tank over here. Let's take our time to aim in because this uh, lower plate on the E3 can definitely be roll when they are rotating like that. Do not have any opportunities to hit that E3 until he turns around. Boom. This tank just hits so hard, it's crazy. Nice. Thanks for tuning in, Versets. <coughs> and hello to Mona. Thanks for checking out the stream tonight. <coughs> but yeah, the Object 268, I was going to pull that. Alpha 690. That's really good. Really good. And it often hits that 700 number. And on heat, it's got 590. And high explosive, you're looking at a solid 1000. This thing just hits so hard. And it even... It even has good, uh, got good dispersion and good aim. It's like such, such a good tank. <coughs> and you can be like aggressive with it or you can like stay back a little bit to 
in like typical TD bush distance firing. So it's a really flexible tank in what you can do with it. Okay, well, what are, what are the... Should have been looking at their lineup earlier than now, but uh, here we are. We have got a ORE and an XM and a 268 version 4. And the 268 version 4 hits hard, but it's got such a, a, a much worse gun, in my opinion. And it can still roll, like, low. So you're just like, why am I even playing this tank when something like this exists? So yeah, last week when I had the fever for a couple days, it's just been rough uh, getting back. <coughs> just uh, had this lingering cough. It's annoying. And it's worse when I talk, so... I'm gonna take a break from talking for a, for a minute. I feel like that was a good trade to get the Hoey to a one shot. Whoops, sorry. Do you wanna back up more? What's your plan? What's your plan? What's your plan? Here's the 268. I don't think the Hoey is on that hill anymore. Oh, he is. I'm surprised he was on there because he's a one shot. Zoop. Oh, really? He hit that. Oh, I am lucky. Where was the other tank that was up here? Thought we. Had, oh, the object. I did not see the object 907 leave. So that left me and the STV in the open. Rats. <coughs> um, that was a lack of awareness on my part. Thinking I could pull around and either hit the VK, the Hoey if you poked it, or even perhaps wrapping all the way around to the Cobra, but and I was not expecting the 268 version 4 to be able to hit that shot, so... Um, all around mistake on my part to make that bend around, especially when I didn't notice that the 907 left the hill. I don't know why he left the hill. <coughs> Nothing about the tank was wrong. It was the gameplay. Of course, I have to play the Caro. And also, I'm looking forward to platooning with some folks that have the ability to stream their gameplay to a endpoint that I can then import as a video source. Because then I can do stuff that will look like this. I'll have my stuff all on the left side of the screen and then whoever I'm platooning with will be on the other side with their logo, their name, and obviously their game. I've tested it out with Fallen and we got like a hundred millisecond difference. So when you're seeing 13, you'd see seven, six, five, four. Like that's how close the stream is. So this is just a preview of what we're gonna be able to have once we, uh, once we get to 
once we get two people who are able to stream their game content to a endpoint, it's going to make watching Platoon games way cool. So I'm excited about that. But since we're not doing that today, <coughs> so back to our normal gameplay. I'm guessing on Thursday is when we're going to be able to do that. Quick pop up there. R183 is going over there. Okay, Super Conqueror fired. Poked him again. Super Conqueror missing, unfortunate. 60 TP fired again, so let's try to track him. How did that how did that one miss APCR, I guess? Someone was hitting me from the top, so I didn't wanna immediately repoke that. M60 was poking that. Gotta watch out on our flank real fast because our M60 is about dead. So I'm gonna try to get a couple of shots onto their tanks and then bail myself. But I'm gonna try to take some of these free hits, maybe onto the 4005. That would be good. Hopefully we can clear him out. We are. Oh, really? This object was able to hit us? Or at least we were able to hit him back. <coughs> I guess if I was able to hit a shot like that, he deserved to hit a shot like he did on me. Well, our guys are cleaning them up. I don't think the object is going to poke that. I'm gonna make him think I'm still going this way because then the object is going to be waiting for me over there, but I don't want to be waiting for him. I don't want him to be waiting for me on that spot. Oh, really? That one bounced? Uh, at least he missed. There's the object. Let's see if we can clear him. Can't hit him without him also hitting me. Cool. All right. Well, there's only two tanks left now, so we are good. Good to go. <coughs> Gonna try to not die though. We're gonna try to get some clean shots into the E100 by looking at the top over here. I'm sorry, the Super Conqueror. Nice, we got all three of our shots into the Super Conqueror, and team finishes him off. Sweet. Good game, good game. Definitely played that one better. Did a solid 3,800. 3, Damage that game. Oh, it was a draw with the object 268. <coughs> Alright, so... My play did not completely ruin the team, so that's a good thing. But we're gonna try this tank again.
All right, let's see what we can do here. Bat chat. <laughs> M6, yo. Minnow, 268. I guys just gotta not talk as much tonight. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm spotted. It's gonna be somebody over there. haven't spotted anyone yet. Minnow is sitting in the open. Probably gonna drive a phone. Our super conqueror was way too far forward. Let's try to clear this Sim 6. Actually, let's hit this object. Sixio is still not gone. Are you kidding me? I clear the yo. We finish him off. Chat's coming for me now. Where did my shot go? Oh man, that was a very unfortunate performance by our team there. Uh, our Super Conqueror kind of threw the heavy side with going so far in there. Obviously we did top damage with the kind of shots we were hitting on there. <coughs> Tanks and we had really nice. I explosive clear on the uh, object. <coughs> yep. Overall, good game. And it's got good high explosive penetration as well. It's like it's not it's not bad. Look at that, 90. I think I'm running calibrated, so 99 penetration with high explosive. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> Hopefully the compression on my mic is making the coughs not so loud. help the medium side because if the both of their mediums go and if the 96 goes medium side then our progetto is going to be toast come on come on come on get this guy get this guy no what a terrible path for my shell to take Wait, is Joe gonna go up this way? I might be able to hit him here. 
this. We do not take unnecessary shots from the other side. Is the yell gonna keep chasing? Might, oh, rats, rats. Might hit the yell here again. It may cost us, though. Our gas tank is hit. Yeah, it cost us big time. All their tanks are coming up now. <coughs> Whole team is just getting overrun so fast. I don't understand it. We they had all their tanks at uh, at A, and our guys couldn't push on a VK90 and a minnow in the back. I think that makes no sense. <gasps> Guess I shouldn't have helped the Brigetto? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you had a thought. Like, I guess I should not have gone for that second shot on the yo. Either and then I was trying to aim my shot better at the end against the Badger, but I unfortunately missed that last shot. And if you have a tank that you want to see played, feel free to put that tier 10 tank into the Chat. <coughs> Two six eight is feeling good as a tank, but um, haven't had the best games in it. How's the matchmaker going? I'm doing ratings, so it's uh, it's all right, I think. It's just ratings matchmaker, so it is. What it is, I do feel like you get some good players on each team, though, <coughs> which is good for ratings. All right, where are our where are our heavies going? Heavy's going left, and Leopard's going left. I'm um, going left. This is interesting. Up to new updates coming out in old matchmaker. Well, it's not even the old matchmaker that's coming back. It's the previous matchmaker that they're going back to. And then they said that they're going to use the data that they got from this recent go at the matchmaker to promise that they're going to have something better for us in the future. <laughs> so I don't know what to think about that. The goal is not to make matchmaker even. All right, why are we not spotting anybody in the middle? I'm not a spotting tank. I don't have the best frontal armor. Let's just put on heat and try to hit this mouse. Because we're not going to be able to poke that very long without getting aimed at. Oh, see, even see, I would, really, I was able to get hit from there. All right, what are our three tanks on the right doing? Because uh, our guys on the left are doing some good stuff. Oh, this mouse is just keeping me here. He shot, so I can go to the next rock now. Let's finish off this Caro. That is. Alright, so the Caro and the mouse are attacking us now. They can do that if they want. Oh, and the E100 too. Why not? Just want to prevent this Caro from uh, getting behind us. 
Yeah, we made him go up the hill. Oh yeah, send him on. Bye ya. And now let's do a face hug before he finishes off. Okay. <clears throat> I was waiting for our three tanks on the right hand side to uh, make their rounds. I think they just stopped and uh, started sniping. Like, I don't know. Very clearly we saw two tanks attacking my tank. But... It, it just took too long to get back over. I mean, there's, there, there's no other dead tanks on that side of the map. <laughs> Like, I don't know. It's still gonna be a win for us. Pretty sure. Finish the E100. Yeah. There we go. Alright. 400 damage per battle in all games. <coughs> yeah. Hopping is no fun. No fun at all. Just got caught in a weird spot thinking I had support on the right hand side, but they just kind of wide flanked. And so, like, props to the guys on the left side of the map who made it possible for the guys who were wandering on the right side of the map able to clean up at the end. All right, well, I think that's enough of the 268 for now. Definitely a solid, solid tank. What should I play next? You know what? I was playing the Amex 30B on the previous stream and kind of ended on two bad games. So I'm going to try to redeem those games here. <coughs> Uh, Chieftain Mark Six. Sure, I will play that after this one. <clears throat> Alright, so we are up against Fat Chat. He's the top ratings player. I have seven. Leopard One, Object 260, T22, Object. 452k and T95. Let's try to hop over here before the bat chat spots us. Alright, we get a good bounce. Very interesting location for that leopard. Leo, 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 stop, stop, stop. Leo, no! Why? 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 Why would he ever... Not the Leos, the car over did that. Alright, we need to, uh, hurry up over here. Let's try to clear out this uh, bat chat over here. With our good gun depression, we are making some good work, good headway here. He is circling around, which is expected. But we definitely need to clear him out because he's the top player. That was a quite impressive brawl by our team, other than the Karo at the beginning, which I was quite nervous about, actually, because of 
how he just completely threw away his tank and did two shots of damage. He, <coughs> but he's at rank 6,000. I don't know, maybe he was just having fun, like, after, I don't, I don't know. Do you know? And see, like, when you're at this high of a rank, you go up and down by only one point, which is pretty crazy. I don't know what that YOLO was. I really don't. Really don't know what that was. <laughs> and for those watching, this is the first time I actually had chat in game on the stream. So that is a first. Figured it would just make the live gaming experience that much more fun. <coughs> Guys from the, the ga Gator from the Silver Clan in the grill. No, uh, Silver from Silver Clan was uh, saying hello. Oh wow, there were, there were, there was more than one tank that could hit me there. Yikes. I thought I could make it to this spot without taking two hits, but I took the wrong, <coughs> the wrong path. I didn't decide where, what exactly I wanted to do, so, you know, it's like my fault. Grill is poking over there. Are there any medium tanks that I can hit while he is? No, but I can hit him. Wait, what? My fire button didn't fire! Yikes, this is not looking good. The fact that they got two tanks over at sea now, and our heavies nowhere to be seen. Yeah, I'm getting hit now. The fact that they're allowed to do that is the worst. Now our heavy tank is dead, like we need somebody with HP to make a play. This is not where it's at. This is not where it's at. Gonna try to escape from the grill's sight. Nope, Sheridan got me. Like we can't have three <coughs> red tanks all at sea and the only De defense be the 57 heavy and the object 140 in the back. Like 57 heavy, if he drove up to where the 62A was, would have been okay. But <coughs> our Amex 50, that is not a sniper tank. You can't really hit tanks from that far away when they're hull down medium tanks rotating back and forth. You need to be doing that on either the heavy side or the medium side, but you can't stay back where the TDs are. Yikes. Yeah, there's Sheridan and another one of their medium tanks was able to hit me right off the bat at the beginning of the game, so that was my fault for taking those early hits. <coughs> I was gonna pop in the bush, but I thought this T62 was gonna pop into there. But yeah, as you can see, total loss <laughs> for our team. I don't know why it says link there in your message. It, it It's supposed to uh, the chat program that I have is supposed to turn links into just link, but I don't know why it changed 5,800 into link. Maybe because it had the, the dot. If it was a comma for 5,800, then maybe it would have said that correctly. So, yeah. 
I think that's why it changed it to Link, because it saw a dot. <coughs> oh, and you also said the Chieftain Mark VI. So let's uh, switch to that tank. You are at, you got to five thousand eight hundred knights. I'm at five thousand six hundred. Whoops. moving around the map and I was like negative <coughs> uh, I guess uh, wow we've got three tank destroyers man three tank destroyers I'm the only heavy what are the heavies that they've got 60 Ugh. that's a good tank on this map and a concept both good heavies on this map we have more mediums to their 907 and bat chat we have a bat chat and then a caro and Rigetto. so we have all auto loaders so this is actually a favorable matchup for us guys take the corner take the corner y'all also take take a shot on these tanks you you are in auto loader tanks y'all attack Anyone want to shoot this object? They're not over here, y'all. Attack. I'm not getting hit by TDs. Alright, we got him now. Right, I'm not going to chase the bat chat because I don't have the speed for that. I'm going to support my tank destroyers who are not in a good position, especially the 183. <coughs> Come on, we have three mediums and we can't get the keep the bat chat from running away. What is their? How did I bounce the side? rear of the concept oh i hit that little top part this is a weird game one of the weirdest weirdest ones might be able to hit this 4005 he's he's running our mediums are not spotting like this is nuts y'all Our JG got left by our 4005. I mean, their red team was all over the place. Our mediums uh, don't know how to push in the when there's a clearing. And uh, 4005 left the uh, JG open. Where did the 4005 go? He, like, lost all his HP. Their 4005 was near base B. And their E4 was all the way in our spawn. Because, you know, flanking in a tank like that is going to be the OP move to make. Yeah. This tank is not hitting any of its shots. <laughs> not like it needs to. I'm just in a position that I need to be in. Waiting for the opportunity to strike. There we go. I hit a shot. All right. That's what we're talking about.
Ooh, we might be able to get a high explosive. Yeah, 520. Let's go for one more. Four ninety-three with a little ram to me. pump it up to five eighty. There we go. <coughs> I don't know. It just felt like our medium tanks were on the the back pedal. <laughs> uh, that that game, they probably did. Look at that. Our JG is the one who did the damage. <laughs> okay, so our three medium tanks were, um, I mean, obviously they did more, more than I did. I was like, I was the weird heavy tank floating between <laughs> the battle. Uh, not the best Chieftain Mark 6, six gameplay, so I'll have to do that one again. I was the heavy tank taking hits for the team. That's what I was doing. That was my contribution. I'm going to take a little bit of a vocal break at the beginning of this battle. Let's get this show on the road. Did our team die? Like what what was our team's position? Oh my that's not where my gun was aiming. Wow. Drink lemon with lemon tea with honey, that will help you. Appreciate that. 
which is good. 215B or the Super Conqueror. <coughs> Obviously, we went up points for that game. Because we were doing stuff. Yeah. Well, you, we can play both of those tanks and have a look. They're, they're both... Yeah, they're, they're both different. I mean, the nice thing about the 215 is that it's not a collector. So it's free. With grinding, so. And it's got one of the coolest guns. In the game. It plays a lot different than most other heavies, so that adds a fun element to it. <coughs> but they're both good. And here we go. Another battle. We've got a 183, 422, ISC, object. I'm gonna go. We aim into the city. Okay. This is what I was looking for. At least I tracked him. This gun does have nice has shells. I'll do a comparison in the stats after. But a 215B would have actually been able to use full hash on the side of the minnow. So the 215B has the, like the true has shells. The game might actually call these just the high explosive. Might as well put on adrenaline and try to get two more shots out. Or just one. Sweet max roll 426 there. Hello to render call. 
<laughs> Thanks for joining the stream tonight. So yeah, let's take a look at this tank. So the Super Conqueror. Yeah, so it doesn't, these are not actually true as shells. These are just high explosive. <coughs> so their pen is 85 on the high explosive and the damage is 515. Now, if you look at the 215B, their high explosive shells have the Hesh, which you can see if I get this out of the way, Hesh TL1. And if we look at the Hesh shells, we can see that its pen is 170. So way, way higher pen values. And it's still the same damage of 515. So if you're looking, if you're looking for the Hesh experience, you play the 215B. <coughs> if you're looking for your more hold down gameplay, stronger, strong armor, including side armor, and for sure, go with the Super Conqueror. Uh, yes, the Badger also has Hesh. But its gun got worse when it got the Hesh shells. <laughs> so it's like, why? I don't really play the Badger too much because of that. Of how its gun is. It's funny, you can actually hear this turning and creaking <laughs> the windmill there. <coughs> In this tank, you also get the super speed boost, which I am going to use to help the medium side as much as possible and to just get into the Front line, okay, the M48 is not going caves, which I don't know how I feel about that. Boom, 491. A little bit of a low of a low roll, but still got a lot of good spots out for the team. I really wanted to hit the bat chat, but he was a bit fast and it was, he was behind some stuff where if I shot it, it would have gone through that stuff. Oh man, I fire and then he gets spotted. I just wanted to shoot that bush thing. Right, let's try to hit this WZ. This tank also has good premium shells, good penetration values, has decent hull down capabilities if you're looking at something like this. I really want to hit that E6, but we need to push out some other tanks first. I don't know why the RE3 is way back there. Let me see if I can try to help him attack here. <laughs> nice 463 even though he had the spall liner oh mistake mistake let's use our super speed boost and clear out this uh, WT he won't be able to escape Alright, we just got out of the view of the T-30 and managed to dodge one. Really want to clear that T-30. The bat chat's coming for us now. Gotta 
try to clear out this uh, bat chap before he gets away here. Alright, nice. We forced him out of his location. Oh no, that missed! This gun usually hits right where you want it to. Oh no, the E6 was able to hit us from there? Wow. <coughs> Alright, our E3 is now making it into the battle. Oh, he could have cleared the E6. 907 is going to hit him. Why shoot at the middle? Clear out the tanks first, y'all. Oh well, at least we got the E6 now. 60 should just yellow the 907. Oh, nice. Nice job by the E3. Alright, game over. Pushing on, Blitz. Break a leg, thank you. So far, ratings are going well. We are overall going up for the evening, which is always a good thing. <coughs> well, actually, I'm, I've been streaming longer than I thought my max was going to be, but I can tell it's about a... Carlos. Five thousand six hundred forty-six. So not nothing crazy, nothing crazy high from where we started. But I do believe we are at our maximum. Yes, we are. So we did go up today. We have time for one, maybe two battles. Still need to calibrate this round. <coughs> I'm sorry that comment surprised me so much that I uh, couldn't contain the call. <coughs> okay. Well, you don't have much time. I think it ends in uh, uh, ends at the end of this month. I have no idea what I O is. No idea what that means. Maybe it's hello. All right, what are we looking at here? Maybe I should play a tank that you like never really see in ratings, the VZ-55. It's just not a tank that anyone is like, oh, I'll be able to do X, Y, and Z in this tank. It's just kind of an all around, all around good heavy, just kind of exists <laughs> and it's got nice alpha which I like 10.7 second reload <coughs> Time to roll out. but it's just it's got one of the bigger hatches for a heavy and it's got a ginormous lower plate that is flat the entire way it's not like round it's not changed at the end or anything it's just it's just kind of weird you know what it can do is hit shots like that I want to hit that bat jet. Wow, their M60 is gone. That's actually really good for us. Bat chat's probably going to go away, so maybe I can drive up in the top here and hit him on his way out. Except I'm too slow to do that. Or am I? I oh. What? Oh, I, hit, I think I hit the VK.
All right, T30, completely busted. What? All right. Taking out that VZ is definitely important because he is just an annoying tank. If uh, this minnow would move. Yes, 473. Got to hit the bat chat after all. When you're in ratings, that's just what you do. You hit the bat chat. No! Can't believe I missed that. Bat chat is still alive. That is unacceptable. Boom! Sixty is running. <coughs> All right, and that is it for today's stream. Thank you all for joining. And just to look at the preview again, I'm working on getting folks to be able to stream their gameplay to an endpoint that I'm importing where I can then stream what they're playing right next to mine. Here's what that is going to look like. So chat's going to be in the middle as will be my webcam. If the other person has a webcam, there'll be two webcams in the middle here. And then my gameplay is going to be here on the left hand side and the person I'm platooning with will be on the right hand side. It's very weird gesturing left when saying right and gesturing right and saying left. Uh, but yeah, so that is going to be very cool. <coughs> and worked out a system where it is very low lag between what they're playing and what I'm playing. So like, if we look at the timer countdown, it's like five, four, three, two, one. So it's sub 200 milliseconds. So it's really smooth. It's going to be a lot of fun watching platoon gameplay. And I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, that's going to be for... That's going to be for another time. We'll probably try that out on Thursday if everything goes well. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed today's rating stream. We did end up at 5,651. <coughs> so overall, pretty good gameplay. Thank you all. And until next time, take care.